Hi everyone, it's me Lindsay again with Equip Me OT here today to talk about getting dressed following a shoulder replacement, shoulder surgery, or injury that requires you to be in an immobilized sling position for a period of time, making upper body and lower body dressing a little bit challenging. So I want to go over the strategies, types of clothing, and equipment you might need in order to do that process as independently and comfortably as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I'm going to show you guys how to remove articles of clothing from your upper body safely while in a slinged position. So in some situations, a physician is going to tell you that you are not allowed to remove the sling at all. Now that's going to make getting dressed nearly impossible, but not completely impossible. For those types of situations, you're going to need to purchase modified clothing. Now, modified clothing is available for, for purchase through things like Etsy. I've seen it available on Amazon. You can also make it yourself. And basically, that clothing is going to have an open shoulder. And what that will be able to do is allow you to dress without ever removing the sling from your body. Now, that's a fairly small number of people. And most people are going to be allowed to remove their sling as long as they stay in an immobilized position throughout the process. So I'm going to show you that situation. And that way, you can go ahead and do it yourself while safely maintaining your shoulder precautions to keep you from re-injuring or injuring more severely that area. So let's talk about getting the sling off first. First things first, make a very good mental note of the position of your arm. What I often tell my clients is reach across your body and kind of feel where your hand is going to be placed. And you're going to kind of hold your hand there throughout the time that you're removing your sling and try to keep it there. If you're somebody who doesn't have a great sense of where your arm is, have a mirror in front of you and look at how your arm is positioned and then keep that mirror in front of you throughout the process so you can really monitor and make sure you're not over, over moving that shoulder. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the sling off. Now, I'm able to get my sling off by just going over my head and not undoing it. That's not gonna be the case for most. So we'll go ahead and unvelcro and remove like this. That is by far the safest way to remove a sling. If your sling has an additional waist component, you'll need to unvelcro that as well simply pulling off from the elbow and across off the hand. Again, keeping that shoulder in the same position you started in. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the clothing I've selected. Loose, stretchy, easy, comfortable clothing is going to be key. And this accounts for the upper body as well as your lower body. Select even socks that are going to be easy to remove and put back on one-handed by simply being looser. So you're going to be doing a lot of things one-handed, so you may want to practice this with some of the clothes you either own or purchase ahead of time if you know you're having this surgery done. Same thing with pants. Loose fitting, stick with elastic waistbands if you can. Buttoning and zipping is always going to be a challenge when you're forced to do it one-handed for a period of time. So find yourself comfortable, loose fitting, elastic waist pants. So the shirts I've selected today are going to be stretchy variety. I went with one like this that has no buttons or snaps or zipper. You, of course, can do that, and there's going to be some equipment needs for that, and I'll go over that in a second. And then the shirt underneath it, this is of exercise material, so it's got a lot of give to it. It's going to make this whole process much, much easier. Okay, let's talk about getting something off. So because this is a sweater, I'm going to remove it first, obviously. We're going to simply remove it off of our strong arm first, or a non-surgical, non-injured arm first, and then guide it gently down over Again, I'm keeping very, very still. I'm actually holding quite tight to my body. And I'm just going to pull off over my hand. So if you have no other injuries to your arm below the elbow, you are able to move your wrist and hand quite freely without worry about in interrupting the recovery of the shoulder. So I often tell clients it's okay to use this hand. And in fact, it's good for it to be able to clench the fist and extend the fingers. That's going to help blood flow in the arm and it will help with preventing cramping. So you can use this hand, but for only light duty. So assisting with moving things around a little bit or holding something in place. Okay, let's talk about getting this t-shirt off. T-shirts are going to be a little more challenging. And again, I'll show you why. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to kind of get it out from underneath your elbow and hand. So it's hand is now going to be in your situation likely over bare abdomen. So you're going to rest your hand there, keep it there. The best way I know to get a shirt off is to actually go over the back of the head. And this requires a lot of shoulder mobility on your non-surgically repaired side. So if you struggle with that, this might be a little bit challenging. But if you can find the back of your shirt, I usually grab right for the collar here. And I'm going to grab and I'm going to pull. And in doing so, I 
I do move the shoulder a little bit, but I'm not actually moving it outside of its normal position that you'd be in with your um, sling in place. So now we're simply going to guide that sleeve gently off the rest of the arm. So now I've removed the shirt. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to get your clothing back on. So we're assuming we're changing our clothes or perhaps you're ready to take a shower at this point. So let's talk about the equipment you would need for putting clothing back on. For most people, the only equipment you would need potentially is something like this. This is a dressing stick. This one's by Juvo. I really like this dressing stick. It also has a long handled shoehorn on one end. And then it has this hooking piece on the top. This is very sticky rubber, which I find makes the process a little bit easier. And I'll show you why in a second. They also make these that look like a wooden dowel with a little rubberized piece at the top. Whatever type you get, these are gonna be really helpful for donning things, putting things on like jackets, sweaters, um, anything like that. And it will prevent you from having to overuse your non-surgically or non-injured side. So they're very useful for that. You may or may not need them depending on your recovery. The other piece of equipment you may need for if you're gonna be in a recovery position like this for a long time and perhaps are returning to work, you might need to do button down shirts. If you're gonna be doing that, you're gonna need a one-handed buttoning tool. These are very low cost, pretty easy to find. I'll have links down below where you can track one down if you think you're gonna need it, but it will allow you to latch button a, um, a, a nice blouse or button down shirt. So those are the only tools you should need in this situation. So let's talk about how you would go about putting your clothing back on. So we're gonna use the clothing I was having on a minute ago. So again, nice, loose and stretchy. We're going to lay the shirt down, face down, on your lap, okay? So you already know how it's oriented. This is going to be very helpful in making sure you don't accidentally get the shirt twisted around in the wrong way, because that can be really frustrating once you start this process. So always be seated. That's gonna help not lose your balance, anything like that. So now I'm going to take, and I'm going to bunch the shirt up, finding my way down the sleeve. This is where t-shirts are easier. You can do it with a long shirt, long sleeve, which I'll show you in a second. But I've got the sleeve in my hand like this. And I'm simply going to thread over the surgically or injured side first. And we're going all the way up, all the way up to the shoulder. Then we're gonna find the head hole like this. This is where stretchy is important. So we're going to thread it over our head and then we're going to thread the sleeve, okay? At this point, you're gonna be doing a bunch of moving around to try and get it untwisted, which we did. Pull it down your back, gently pull it out from underneath. So a nice, thin, stretchy t-shirt works beautifully for that, okay? So now I've got my t-shirt on. My shoulder is still in a safe position. Okay, let's talk about getting the sweater on now. With the sweater, I am going to use my dressing stick and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But the process is exactly the same. We're again going to set it down on our lap, face down. I'm going to thread this one over. You can see long sleeves a little more cumbersome. We're going to work it around so the sleeves, so the shoulder is up. Try to get it up there because it'll hold itself up that way. And you're kind of pinching against your body a little bit. Okay, so now we've got this portion of the shirt. That's where the dressing stick is gonna come in. So we're going to hook it around like that. So you can see I've got the, the other arm, the other shoulder of my sweater hooked onto the dressing stick. And I'm simply going to reach it around until it is draped over my shoulder. See, like that. Now I'm going to gently reach around and I can use this hand a little bit. I can find the sleeve and thread it on safely. Okay, adjust, again, keeping that arm pinched to your side. And just like that, we're safely redressed. The only remaining step, of course, being to reapply your sling. Which again, I usually throw the the sling strap over my shoulder so I don't lose it. And this is, gotta do your hand first in, elbow in. Make sure you're not super twisted. And you're going to 
place this through whatever the strapping is on yours. There's several different types, so you're gonna have to get familiar with your particular sling and then apply it. It's Velcro in this situation. It's a little tricky to do one-handed, but you can do it. Just like that. Pull it down, make sure it's snug and comfortable. And just like that, you're fully dressed again without having interrupted or damaged your sore shoulder. So hopefully you got some value out of this video. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And as always, if you're looking for more information on how to stay safe and independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT.